who can outfight them every time. As the new head of the army, General Sir David Richards has started with a flourish and a big headline. After Britain's bloodiest month in Afghanistan, he says the mission there may last for as long as 40 years. At a time when the number of soldiers dying and grieving families mourning them is at a high, it's a bold statement. General Richards sees the mission not just as fighting the Taliban, but as what he calls development, governance and security sector reform, nation building. He says in Iraq, we made the mistake of abandoning the people and we mustn't do it again in Afghanistan. The implicit criticism of the government's decision to pull troops out of Iraq is again a bold statement from a man who takes office in less than three weeks. He inherits command of the army from someone whose relationship with the government was never smooth, General Sir Richard Dannett. His criticisms of the government's funding of the army will be a key issue, though General Richard says he won't be presenting Gordon Brown with a shopping list of equipment needed. But if the high rate of deaths in July is repeated again in August, the calls for more funding will sound again. On Friday, the bugle sounded as the body of craftsman Anthony Lombardi of the Royal Mechanical Engineers returned home. And in Cornwall, the family of guardsman Christopher King of the 1st Battalion, the Coldstream Guards, said their farewells. Three more soldiers died on Friday as well. The paratroopers, working with special forces, were killed when their armoured 4x4 Jackal drove over a roadside bomb in Helmand province. One soldier is critically injured in hospital.